All right, let's cross over to Makwini County, where the county government is uh, today set to host uh, governors from the rest of the country in a peer-to-peer -peer learning exercise. I'd like us to cross over and listen in to what and watch the benchmarking. And I understand that uh, Makwini uh, County Governor, that is Kivutha Kibwane, is currently addressing uh, the governors who are attending that benchmarking um, meeting. It's a strong structure working from the village level to the county headquarters involving nearly all segments of our society in our bottom-up approach that entirely gives maximum recognition to what the people say and what they want. Apart from our dedicated ward development budget of 33 million for each of our 30 wards, we are, as a county, discussing the possibility of our 300 through that country's blocks. They have annual development work plans and they can source funding not only from government but other development uh, other development partners. Since, 20, since 2013 our annual budgeting processes and the developing of the County Integrated Development Plan, CIDP, have been undertaken through public participation. In fact, public interest in our public participation events have gradually increased. This year, up to 120,000 people from a population of 1 million participated in the making of our CIDP 2018-2022 2018-19 budget, which we launched in April. Even the Apex County People's Forum must approve the annual budget before its submission to the Cabinet and County Assembly. It also enters into a performance uh, contract with the Governor and Deputy Governor. We are in the process of innovating to ensure it also scrutinizes the annual audit report from the auditor uh, general. The people do not just give their views and leave it there. They become part and parcel of the process. In fact, through various development committees and at various levels on the ground, they must approve completed projects alongside our technical and county administration teams. It is only when they are satisfied, that is, uh, the relevant uh, project management committees are satisfied that the county government can process payments. Sometimes I look at the idea of devolution initiated and independence in Kenya, and when I see the gains we have been able to make since 2013, I see a wasted half a decade opportunity. We should not have discontinued the devolution framework uh, we had at independence. But that is history. We should secure the future. At that time, we were the same level with Asian giants like Malaysia, South Korea, and Singapore. Today, with devolution, we have seen new roads emerge in the villages. Better health care is fast becoming a reality through initiatives by counties. New modern hospital facilities are coming up. Manufacturing plants are roaring to life from venues no one ever expected, and many encouraging uh, uh, stories across uh, Kenya. The evolution is the best thing that has happened in Kenya and should be well thought out through to bring about the transformation, redemptive justice, development, and unity we have sought. Even as we try to do our best to ensure our people reap maximum benefits from the devolution uh, idea, I must admit that we have several challenges that continue, that counties continue to encounter along the way. The resources allocated are still not enough to do much more. Sometimes counties are forced into financial constraints because of the delayed releases of funds, making implementation very unpredictable. Corruption is also still a major entrance to the implementation of devolution that must be dealt with. Here in Makweni, we deal forcefully with people who do wrong things when we detect their malpractices. 
And that is why I'm personally giving full support to President Uru Kenyatta in his war against uh, corruption. I want to thank the Council of Governors through our partnership with USAID, uh, UKAID, uh, AHADI, World Bank. They have been able to help us to organize this peer learning and experience sharing. Although counties have been learning from each other, this is the first step towards institutionalizing structured peer-to-peer -peer learning among counties with excellency uh, governors leading the learning process. And I'm really very grateful that uh, the, the excellencies are here so that we can learn together. With time, I expect the COG will engage the national government to spread the benefits of peer learning. Public participation is a must at both levels of government. Once again, may I ask all of you to feel at home. I wish all of you very fruitful uh, deliberations throughout this conference and also uh, throughout uh, your uh, sojourn into Makwene country to see some of the work that the people do uh, in the various projects that uh, we shall be able to see. Uh, karibu, tena, na karibu, na karibu. And now uh, I would like to ask our speaker, uh, Douglas Pilu, to very briefly greet the gathering. Uh, honorable speaker. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency, the Governor of Makwendi, Excellency, Governors and Deputy Governors uh, for my Chief Justice and all distinguished guests. Good afternoon. Uh, it is uh, against protocol to speak after the Governor has made the opening remarks, but in the principle of public participation. But then I also take this opportunity to welcome you here at Makwendi on behalf of the County Assembly uh, and the rest of the County Assembly is at Kasarani for sports. They are trying to interact and I was sent by the chairperson for the uh, County Assembly's forum to pass my greetings and pass the commitment of the County Assembly to be part of this process in entrenching devolution and public participation. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Buana Speaker. And now I want to invite my teacher, my mentor. Um, when I say things like that about him, he gets embarrassed. Uh, our former Chief Justice, Willie Mutunga, to greet the gathering. So, so in terms of, oh yeah, the <laughs> chair of COG, vice chair. As COG, Governor, uh, all right, that is the county benchmarking the 